fish on again. Oh, it's off. Man, they're liking this thing. Oh, that thing is long. <laughs> I'm just gonna do the whole float again. Um, I hooked two fish in, uh, well, one drift, which took me, shoot, three and a half minutes. And I hooked two fish. My plan was to pull plugs back up this thing, but I just wanna try this drift again. I can't lose this jig, it's the only one I have. Um, all my other jigs are quarter ounce. This particular jig I made a long time ago, um, it's really ugly, it's not a nice looking jig. It's probably not gonna be very durable. But I mean, fish are biting it, so who really cares? Fish on. Oh, sound slam, sound the door. So this stupid lure that I made is working just fine. It's got like a stinger hook on it and that's what I hooked this fish on. So I don't want to take credit for what those guys over there are doing, but I think I put it in their heads that they should be twitching jigs. They have one hooked up right now as we speak, which is pretty cool. So every time I reel in, I'm seeing pinks follow my jig all the way back to the boat. They're not hitting it every time. And if I'm not twitching it, they just leave. I got it biting on video. I got it biting on video. Is that cool? They're pretty ornery. They're doing a lot of chasing today. This one slacklined me. The, the strikes are subtle. Usually you feel them when you're twitching um, because they grab it on the drop and when you twitch, you feel the resistance of the fish. Um, that time I just noticed that, that it stayed slack. Which um, is a lot easier to do when you're drifting with your, with your jigging action. Well, there you have it, underwater twitching jigs for pinks, homemade.